I might be messing this up on purpose so I can drink more of this. I love Starfield, and I also love Mixology, though admittedly I am barely above a novice in the latter. As long as it tastes good, presentation has just always been secondary to me. But it's time to change that and have fun while we learn. Today, we are going to make classic cocktails with a Starfield riff, and we're going to start right now. The new arrival is served exclusively at the viewport in the new Atlanta spaceport. Based on the description, it's a whiskey highball that looks like a tiki drink. What's a highball? Whiskey, soda, and ice. That's all. I opted for Texas port cask finished bourbon with an extra splash of port to create that deeper red look toward the bottom. Once I add crushed ice and gently pour the cream soda, it will lighten toward the top, giving that gradient look we see in the game. That's a good drink. That's a very good drink. You gotta add the port, otherwise it won't be red. You can see how quickly it still mixes in with the cream soda. It's already lost the, the transition of red to cream, but it's delicious. Uh, you want it mixed anyway when you, oh. we're gonna leave that in. You want it mixed anyway when you drink it, otherwise you're just serving either pure whiskey or pure cream soda, neither of which are bad. Yeah, I give this cocktail an A plus. So head to the viewport and talk to bartender Nissa to snag one for yourself. This cocktail will increase your carry capacity by six and boost your persuasion chance by 12%, but decrease your O2 recovery by 20% for five minutes. The viewport original is also served at, you guessed it, the viewport. Again, that's the spaceport in New Atlantis. This is in essence, a screwdriver using alien fruit instead of orange juice. I can work with that. Mango juice. And of course, the game rightfully names vodka as the spirit of preference. I've gone with the cheap but dependable New Amsterdam. <laughs> Vodka and mango, bottoms up. I think I like that better than orange juice. It's not so aggressively tart. It's got that more of a tropical feel to it. You gotta keep the vodka a little less than you would with an orange juice screwdriver because the mango is definitely more delicate with the appropriate amount of vodka. This is absolutely a winner. And with less vodka, you get more drinks, right? Mm, good stuff. Again, only Nissa at the viewport in New Atlantis will sell you this tasty beverage. This cocktail will increase your carry capacity by six and boost your total O2 by 15%, but reduce your O2 recovery by 20% for five minutes. The top shelf is served exclusively at Whetstone in the commercial district of New Atlantis. This is a pretentious version of a Long Island iced tea served in a martini glass. For this drink, we have Vizcaya White Rum, Cairo Gin from Finland, and once again, the New Amsterdam Vodka. Lastly, a sour red syrup made by combining a bar spoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice and one half ounce of grenadine.
top shelf. I think this is better than a Long Island. In a Long Island, you use triple sec. Here, we use the grenadine with a little bit of lemon juice in it. That is a far superior, tangy, sour sort of flavor for me. I need another sip of this. I think if you used a better vodka, it would be even brighter. The New Amsterdam certainly pulls its weight, but it is not the best you can get. I can't drink any more of that. I need to put it on a spinner. Holy moly, that's good. I want more of that. That's a bad idea. Don't drink more of that. Whetstone can be found in the commercial district up the ramp to the left as you leave the tram station. Owner and vendor Alara Catrango will be happy to serve you their signature drink. This will bestow you with a bonus 100 damage resistance for three minutes and eight carry capacity for five minutes. But for the loss of a whopping 25% O2 recovery for those five minutes. Our largest tweak yet comes in the form of the Lumberjack Julep, a rugged twist on the daintier mint julep. This recipe is not purchased, rather crafted with the Mixology 2 skill level, which requires gastronomy one. Shout out to Curiata, who is not the sponsor of this video, but worth praising all the same for shipping this hard to find item to Texas. Link in the description below. George Dickel Rye is in the lineup. Instead of mint, we're adding Zerben's Pine Liqueur from Austria. No julep is complete without syrup for sweetener. We're going with maple. That is a julep. The rosemary on the nose, pine kind of lingering at the back after that rye spice kicks you in the face. This is phenomenal. I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you like those sort of spice forward rye and really sort of herbal kind of notes in your drinks. Mm, that's dangerous. No, I got, I got nothing. It's just so good. I'm gonna be in trouble when we're done filming. To craft this recipe, you will need one aromatic and one liquor. Drinking this delicious looking beverage will restore 10 health, increase damage resistance by 100 for five minutes, but again, reduce your O2 recovery by 20% for those five minutes. Chimera is a specialty item sold only at Euphorica in Neon. In the game, it looks like a layered beverage in a clear can. Here. It's a layered shot. The game states that this is three different types of liqueur, but in order to get that nice deep red at the bottom and the orangey yellow in the middle and the white on top, I had to do a little bit of research into specific gravities and make a substitution. I think what I've come up with might just be worth the 525 credits they're asking. We'll start with creme de noyau. Float Grand Marnier on that and top it with a layer of heavy cream.
afraid to touch it? Okay, I just executed a perfect float. No, I am not going to take this shot because I still have to put it on the spinner. I have tasted it when I did the practice round. The intense almond notes of the creme de noyau pair so beautifully with the citrus oranginess of the Grand Marnier and then the cream on top just turns it all into like this beautiful almond orange creamsicle sort of flavor. I'm, I'm utterly shocked that I designed something like this. I highly recommend you give this a try if you can get your hands on the creme de noyau. If not, you can probably just use amaretto. It's not going to float the same, but the flavors will be similar and you'll get to enjoy it. When I did the practice, my friends and I, we mixed it all together in little glasses and just kind of sipped on it. And it was delicious like that too. So you don't have to take it layered. You can mix it all together and the flavor is phenomenal. If you're the adventurous sort, don't hesitate to talk to Mika at Euphorica and get one of these sweet treats. It will raise your persuasion chance by 10%, increase damage resistance by 50, and only set you back 15% O2 recovery for three minutes. And thus ends the first in a series of videos where I make various beverages found in Starfield. I hope you saw something that looks delicious or perhaps inspires you to make your own take on a classic cocktail. Next time, we'll take a stab at some fancier high-end beverages that can be found across the settled systems. So if you wanna make sure you don't miss it, boop, that like button, smash subscribe, and I'll cheers to you in the star field. <sighs> That's me. You're fine. Why you gotta get cat hair on my mat, huh? Don't eat that. Was that your first lime? Who put a cat hair in my drink? Hi. Don't eat it right there. Take it and go. We're gonna wait for the dog to finish eating ice cubes underneath the table before we go on with the tasting. Sir. Get out of my window. Hi. You're in the way. You can be there later. That's why the vet said this kibble for you. Dude, move. Oh, you can't be up here. What are you doing?